morning run. Just waiting for the uh, stoplight there. I tried crossing, but uh, I almost got hit once. Like many young drummers, when I got to high school, I, I did drumline. And this was in an effort to be less less nerdy or to make myself seem less nerdy than the, the normal band nerd. The drums were loud and when you started playing, everybody's attention just immediately went to you. It was, it was cool. As a, as a young teenager, it was, it was cool. You got to make a lot of noise and nobody ever yelled at you for it. And you got to walk around with the drum because so you were mobile and loud, which to a young drummer is like the best thing in the world. When I first made snare drum my sophomore year, I had to learn how to play traditional grip. Up until that point, I'd always played something called match grip, because that's a traditional drum set and concert band grip, which for those of you that don't know, basically match grip is your hands match each other and you just play like this. But in drumline, your left hand does something a little bit different. Traditional grip. Your right hand stays the same, but your left hand is doing this weird, weird thing. When they had a drummer play on the battlefield, that was a way to communicate different orders. But the drums that they had angled slightly. And if you try playing drums like that, you're gonna be doing this weird, like your shoulder's gonna go up and it's just, it just doesn't work. And that's why they invented this grip or did traditional grip because suddenly instead of having to bring your shoulder up you can relax it and but how do you actually like what's the correct form to to hold a, a drumstick in traditional grip because i see a lot of this which that, <laughs> i see a lot of this i've actually seen this and something somewhere in between so the easiest way for me to describe it to you is place your hand on a flat surface or whatever and act like you're giving somebody the bird but keep your thumb out. Once you have that, you're gonna place the drumstick in the hand just like this so that the thumb is on top and the middle finger is, is on bottom. You're gonna curl your fingers around the drumstick and this middle finger right here has to stay flat and the thumb is gonna go up like this. You're gonna have something called your fulcrum and that's going to be between the bone on your pointer finger and your thumb, and that's what's gonna cause the drumstick to move back and forth. For traditional grip, your fulcrum's gonna be at the base of your thumb, right here. For matched grip or normal grip with the right hand, to get the drumstick to move without getting your wrist to move, you're just gonna pull your fingers like this. For traditional grip, obviously that doesn't work. So to get that same kind of movement, you're just going to pull your pointer finger like you're pulling a trigger on a gun or, or something else. And while you're doing that, try to resist the urge to curl your, your middle finger. And that's that's basically it. It's, it's not super hard. It'll feel weird at first, but the biggest thing that's gonna make it feel normal and natural is just consistency. Just keep doing it. And the longer you do it, the more comfortable you'll be. Okay. So, my skateboard was making a weird noise, and it's been doing it for a while, so I figured uh, I, I would try to fix it today. There was a pebble stuck in one of the belts, but it's fixed now. I just don't know how it got in there, to be honest. <laughs> I'm at a campsite that I actually found when I was running one day, but I'm at a campsite by the lake in Nashville, Pris Priest. I don't know what their electric skateboard policy is. There's a, there's no signs. So I just approach it like everything else in my life. Do it, and if I get in trouble, ask for forgiveness. It's served me well so far. Like these, uh, these things, they're not driveways. They're uh, like individual campsites where you can park your car, much like that. That's, uh, that's kind of it. Whoa. It's a big, uh, it's a big trailer. Like this was, uh, like in Nashville, like this is Nashville proper. Look at that.